next method to find skewness. Pauli's method. This method was suggested by a statistician, Professor A. L. Pauli. So, the formula to find skewness according to this method will be totally dependent upon quartiles. So, we are using quartiles here. So, skewness is equal to Q3 minus M minus M minus Q1. If I simplify this, it will be Q3 minus M minus M plus Q1. After opening bracket, the sign will change due to minus sign. So, ultimately, it will be simplified into this formula Q3 plus Q1 minus coefficient of qness q3 minus m minus m minus q1 upon q3 minus m plus m minus q1 so it will be q3 minus m minus m plus q1 upon q3 minus m plus m minus q1 minus plus will be cancelled out so its formula will be like this q3 plus q1 minus 2m upon q3 minus q1 okay then range of value of j will be minus 1 to plus 1 so value of coefficient of skewness according to this method will be always between minus 1 to plus 1. Minimum value minus 1, maximum value plus 1. The data about rainfall at a place in a month during monsoon are often as follows. Find skewness and coefficient of skewness using Bowley's method. This is discrete frequency distribution. You have been given information regarding X and F. So accordingly, you have to apply the formula for quartiles and region. First of all, you have to rearrange the information, rearrange the data into increasing order. It is not in increasing order. So you have to rearrange it. 5, 6, 7, 13, 15, and 20. And accordingly, respective frequency will also be rearranged. 5, frequency of 5 is 8. Then 6, frequency of 6 is 10. Then 7, its respective frequency is 5. Then 13, for that frequency is 3. Then 15, for it also the frequency is 3. And then 20 for it frequency is 2. Now you have to find out cumulative frequency. 8 plus 10, 18 plus 5, 23 plus 3, 26 plus 3, 29 plus 2, 31. Q1 for discrete frequency distribution. And ungrouped data, the formula is same. N plus 1 divided by fourth observation. So 31 plus 1 divided by 
fourth observation. So 32 divided by four. So eighth observation. So you have to look into the column of frequency, cumulative frequency. So eight and respective value of x for the corresponding cumulative frequency. So that is five. Then n n plus one divided by observation. Sixteenth observation. So value of median is six. Then third quarter Q three three into n plus one divided by fourth observation. Fourth observation. So corresponding value of x 30. Now skewness q3 plus q1 minus 2 n. 13 plus 5 minus 2 into 6 18 minus 12 so your minus will be 6 coefficient of skewness q3 plus q1 minus 2m upon q3 minus q1 6 divide by 13 minus 5 so that is 6 divided by 8 0 0.75 it is positive students clear Illustration 30. The frequency distribution of number of checks received per day for clearing five branches of a bank on 100 days in the year 2014 is as follows. Find the coefficient of skewness by Bowley's method using this distribution.
then by fourth object. So it is. Hundred by fourth observation, twenty fifth observation. So, so this is your first quartile class. This is your F. This is your C. Formula for continuous frequency distribution: L plus n by four. Minus CF upon F into C, lower limit of quartile class. So here it is inclusive distribution. We have to convert it into exclusive. So 400 minus 399, that is one divided by two, 0 0.5. So 400 minus 0 0.5. So your lower limit will be 399.5. And by 4.25 CF. 23 F 17 class length 200 25 minus 23 into 200 divided by 17 plus 399.5 423.03 and by 423 50th observation. n by 2 minus cf upon f into c. So here your lower limit will be 599.5 n by 2 50 cf 40 plus length 200 and your f 42. So 50 minus 40 into 200 Again, same plus 599.5. Only 3n by 4 value will be changed. 75 minus 40 upon 42 into 200. So 75 minus 40 into 200 is 42 to 599.5. 766.17. Find coefficient of skewness directly. You don't have to find skewness. So Q3 plus Q1 minus 2m upon Q3 minus 2.
माइनस हंड्रेड एंड फाइव पॉइंट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थर्टी वन Find the coefficient of skewness for frequency distribution of sales of 500 companies in the year 2014-15 using an appropriate method. They haven't specified Carl Pearson or Bowling, but you can see this is open-ended distribution. First class is less than, and second class is more than. Less than more than type of distribution only. Less than more than type was over here. Now convert to upper. But middle class are regular but first is less than and last is more than so this is open ended frequency distribution so for open ended frequency distribution you cannot find mean you cannot find mode you cannot find standard deviation so carl pearson's method can cannot be applied so compulsory you have to follow bowling's method you have to find out q1 q3 and median and accordingly you can find out j same method same formula same procedure illustration 15 for a frequency distribution of a monthly overtime of employees of a company difference between two extreme quartiles is 50 and their sum is 280 if median is 112 find coefficient of skewness these are short sums Now, try to understand what has been given. Difference between two extreme quartiles. Two extreme quartiles means Q1 and Q3. Q3, Q1. So that difference, Q3 minus Q1, is 50. That sum, Q3 plus Q1, and median. Now you can simply put the value into formula. Q3 plus Q1 minus 2m upon Q3 minus Q1. This is given sum that is 218 minus 2 into 112. And difference between two extreme quartiles, Q3 minus Q1 is also given. So Two hundred and eighteen minus two two four divided by fifty minus zero point twelve is your answer. Such type of question can be asked in your two mark. Then the mode of a symmetric frequency distribution is eighty four. If the first quartile is sixty-eight, find the third quartile. Try to understand. Mode has been given. Symmetric distribution means where skewness and coefficient of skewness is zero. That is called symmetric distribution. Lack of skewness is symmetric. And in symmetrical distribution, value of mean, median, and mode are equal. What you have to find out third quartile. Then mode is given. First quartile is given. Now. in symmetrical frequency distribution q1 
minus m is equal to m minus q1. So q3, you have to find mean median same. So 84, 84 minus a quarter first in the other. First quarter 68, just sorry. So you can apply formula of J as well. Huh? J is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M upon Q3 minus Q1. J is equal to X book. And the J value is 0. Line. But rather than doing so, make a real that easy person. Because this is one of the characteristic of symmetrical frequency distribution. Where distance of First and third quartile from median. It's not only symmetrical frequency distribution. Perfect bell shape. X bar. M. M O. The following information is available about marks in a subject obtained by the students of a school in the annual examination. 25% of students have scored less than 28 marks. And 75% of students have scored less than 47 marks. If the coefficient of skewness for marks is 0.4, then find the median. Now, less than 25 percent that is called your q1 because quartile will divide the whole distribution into four equal part 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent and 25%. Less than 25% gives you the Q1. More than 25 or less than 75% gives you the Q3. And 50% gives you the median. So here Q1 is given 28. 11. 28. Less than 75%. That is Q3. And coefficient of skewness J. 0.4. You have to find out median. I thought I drawn the corona. This is for your explanation. Understand it. So your median will be 67.4 divided by 2. That is 33.7. Clear?
then comparison of two methods. Now see, the measures from the data about monthly income of resident of two cities are obtained as follows. Find coefficient of skewness using Carl Pearson and Bowles method. City A, City B, mean, median, standard deviation, first quartile, third quartile are given. So for both the city, you have to find out both the type of coefficient of skewness. For city A, J is equal to 3 into X bar minus M upon S. That is 3 into mean, 300, minus median 284, divided by standard deviation 60. So it will be 0 0.8. And for same city, coefficient of skewness by Bowley's method Q3 plus Q1 minus 2F upon Q3 minus Q1. So 390 plus 124 minus 2 into 284 divided by 390 minus 124. So it will be minus 0.2. Same procedure for city B. Now you can compare the coefficient of skewness for city A is positive by Carl Pearson and negative by Bowley. On other hand, for city B, reverse is the case. Carl Pearson's Coefficient of skewness is negative and Bowley's coefficient of skewness is positive. So on comparison, we can see that if we will using we will be using say both method, then it will be misleading. So you should follow only one method. And if nothing is specified, it is strongly suggested that you should follow Carl Pearson method. But if open-ended distribution is given, mean, mid, uh, median or mode or standard deviation couldn't be found out, then you have to follow Bowley's method. Yeah. Clear? Mm -hmm. Sum number 2 in exercise 5.2. The frequency distribution of paid up share capital out of issued share capital of 31 manufacturing companies is as follows. Find skewness and its coefficient by Bowley's method and state type of skewness. So this is less than type of frequency distribution. So you have to convert it into original. So less than 100, less than 300, less than 500. So share capital cannot be less than 0. So 0 to 100, then 400 to 300, then 300 to 500. 500 to 700, 700 to 900, 900 to 1100, 1100 to 1300. Now first class must zero now upon less than 100 graph or to be with for it. Now, they have given CF. Okay, you have to find out F. So, 6 minus 0, 6. 16 minus 6, 10. 19 minus 16, 3. 23 minus 19, 4. Zero to per hour, the first one. Got zero, then six, ten, three, four, then twenty seven minus twenty three, four, and thirty one minus twenty seven, four. See so a each other.